Like, why have y'all not fought yet? Was it ever any offers made? Is yeah, he I mean, faking? Like, what, what's... The next fight was going to be Teal. Turkey and, you know, the guys offered him a fight. He, he said he's not ready. This is wild, right? He's a takeover, though, bro. I thought you were supposed to take over, but we can't really be surprised, right? Because Subrio Batias told us about Teal Fimo a long time ago. This is what he said about what he really is. No, Teal Fimo. We'll see. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. And praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We got some news from Debbie Haney. You know, he was interviewed by Andre Ward, SOG, on All the Smoke Fight. You know what I'm saying? And it was a good interview, you know. But Andre Ward asked him, you know, SOG said, hey, man, you know, I heard about your little beef with Teo Fimo Lopez. And here's what Debbie Haney had to say about that. With Teo, I've seen you go back and forth with this dude for mm -hmm. years. Like why have we all not fought yet? I was supposed to do a, uh, like a like a stay busy fight, you know, get 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 back get back in the ring. And the next fight was gonna be Teal Turkey, and you know the guys offered him a fight. So they offered him a fight. Yeah, they, he, he, he said he's not ready. Nigga, you was a bitch. Yeah, so as you can see, they were supposed to have a fight, but Teal Fimo turned it down. He said he didn't want it. So it's just funny because the same Teal Fimo. Um, didn't he call out Brian Norman said that since he's the WBO champion at 140 he wants to you know exercise his right and his claim to another title at 147 with against Brian Norman who's the WBO champion right now as a full champion and then when he became full champion after Terrence Crawford elevated we don't hear anything from Tio 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 okay and then um he also just recently challenged Gervonta Tate Davis as they both have an opening date and we don't see any action towards that either. You know, this is just to name a few. We're not going to go through everybody. But also, by the way, he challenged Terrence Bud Crawford. You know, the pound for pound king. You know, he said he wants to fight him as well. And he said that he's overrated. But he hasn't made it. He hasn't demonstrated any type of action to where it would indicate that he's actually moving up to go fight, to go fight Terrence Crawford, you know. So it seems like he's just cloud chasing. And now, you know, definitively. Devin Haney has exposed Tio Fimo as just a clout tracer at just that. You know what I'm saying? Is it huh? T.O.? You know, T.O.? Like the takeover? I'm thinking that we have to change his name to the fake over and the faking's over. You know what I'm saying? So T.O. been calling out all these people, but he's not really doing it. He's not really making any action t towards fighting. And then him, he himself has said while he's calling out all these people, supposedly that he's ready to fight and beat up, he can't even fight until 2025 according to his top rate contract. He said they're holding him back. What? Are you going to have a fight before the end of the year, or is that well, probably out of the question right now? Um, we're going to see what they want to do as far as top rank goes. I know they said that I may not fight the rest of the years. Nigga, you was a bitch! <laughs> you know, so coincidentally, when he can't fight anymore, and all of a sudden he's calling out everybody, right? I just think it's just funny because, you know... This is wild, right? He's a takeover, though, bro. I thought you were supposed to take over, but we can't really be surprised, right? Because Subrio Batia told us about Teo Fimo a long time ago. This is what he said about what he really is. No, Teo Fimo. We'll see. So, I mean, Teo Fimo is just, you know, he's just showing and demonstrating why Subrio Batia thinks that way of it. Because Teo Fimo is calling out all these people. Jerron Boots in this. All these people. Even Liam Paro called him out. He was another champion at 140. Why don't you go for that belt, bro? You're the takeover, right? I thought you were supposed to take over the division. Last time we seen you, you know, was Steve Claggett. And the time before that against Jermaine Ortiz, you could barely take over a ring. But hey, maybe, maybe, maybe hey, things change, you know? Maybe we're gonna maybe you're gonna take over someday. Just not today or not tomorrow and not till next year, right? But we're gonna see what happens, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, man. What, <laughs> who do you want to if we were to fight next? Do you think Devin Haney is capping or do you believe him? I mean, I I I believe him, man. I don't think he has any reason to lie. And I'm glad that Andre Ward asked him about that because it it, it shed some light on it, man. There's a lot of guys out here. Teal Fimo uh, is notorious for that, in my opinion. He always calls out people and then the fight never comes into fruition, you know. He was supposed to fight Super Matias, and it might not been his fault, you you know super matias had a hand injury but i'm not certain that if super matias didn't hurt his hand that he would have ended up fighting you know instead we got him versus steve claggett that he struggled with he was lumped up and bumped up you know what i'm saying on both eyelids you know from steve claggett who was unranked until they made made, made a fight with him you know what i'm saying so it's, it's just funny that um you know that you're you're calling out all these people and you're ready to fight but then when Devin haney and big turk 
offer you a fight, you're not ready. You know, you need some time for, to prepare. You know, you got to prepare the recipe for the takeover, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, the fake over. That's what we're going to call him. Y'all let me know in the comments who you think he should fight. Who do you think that he beats right now? Are you disappointed or this is what you expected, man? I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Y'all know what it is, man. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.